We're checking out Williamson County, Tennessee's new Ford F-250 command vehicle. This is the second vehicle that they ordered from us. This was one of our uh, stock program trucks, all purchased through the HGAC system. Uh, as you can know, Blueprint electrical system, a lot of what you'll see is tied off to what the second one, the white one that you saw. So with just some modifications. So M-Power light bar. M-Power's in the grill. Road armor bumper with a worn winch in the grill. We got extra hookups up front for them. We have the two by one dual stack M-Power ORV lights and custom made CNC uh, brackets for the fog light kit. M-Powers on the fenders with the bezels, SL runners on the side. We've got M-Powers in the cutouts of the sidestep on the front fender and then our M-Powers up top. Compartment doors. So what we did for them to give them flexibility and some added rigidity to the toolbox is we brought pack tracking in, bolted in for them. So when they have stuff like this, it just goes in with the, the pack clips and you can move along with it. We've got a 110 outlets, 12 volt, and additional power studs for uh, future expansion. Back of this ARE cap, our normal full hatch lift up door. And then we got M powers, three on each side vertical, three up top. And then we've got uh, additional two down low, two on the bumper. And then we have the ORV lights and the CNC brackets to match up to the road armor bumper. Make sure that they have a full warning and scene functions and programmability. Excuse the mess, vehicle's getting shipped out, but these are all the components that are going back to the customer. We have incorporated the FireTech dual color lights. So then there's a little switch on the inside here that allows you to toggle between the red and white. You can also shut them off. You can see on our hatch sides, uh, we've got the M powers on the deck grill brackets flashing automatically when the hatch opens. As you can see when this hatch opens, we shut off the lights that are in your eyes so you don't blind yourself. And then we have the scene functions on the back here. So the M powers there go to white and then our back bumper lights go to white, help give you ground lighting around when the cabinets slid out. You can see the additional wiring and stuff that went along with that. But all that stuff is programmable and adjustable with the blueprint system. So you don't like it, you turn it off, you make an adjustment and you move along. There's no rewiring, there's nothing like that. So it gives you a lot of flexibility for expansion and making sure that the vehicle operates the way that you want it to. Lastly, we have our vertically challenged assist strap to help you with pulling that hatch door closed. Make sure that you're not grabbing anywhere that you're not supposed to. And then in this compartment here, you can see there's no toolbox, gives you access to the side of the cabinet. So you can see that they've brought in 12 volt plugs, 110 outlets, and it's all tied into our Cosmol shoreline system so that you can have power when you're plugged in. With the inverter charger system, it's one unit. So not only does it provide you 110 power when you're on scene, but when you plug in your shoreline to charge your batteries, it automatically energizes your outlets. So if you have equipment like flashlight chargers, gas bead chargers, drone batteries, anything that needs 110 power, when you're parked in the station, you can have it charged here while it's maintaining your batteries and you're not installing an additional transfer switch and other components taking up space. It's all done automatically and it's one component. Our front center console, we've got our radios installed, we've got their uh, power switch for the winch controller to keep it shut off when it's not in use. We've got our padded lift up armrests. We've got portable chargers on the back. We've got our hint mount with our laptop docking station, giving a great stability platform and not tying up your passenger seat there. And then on the side of the console, we've got their uh, inverter control. Shows power when it's plugged in and whatnot when you turn it on. And then up top, we've got our compartment door indicator tied into blueprint so you can have the flexibility to have it steady when in park or flashing in drive so that way you're, if you're parked on the side of the road on a call and you have a compartment open, it's not flashing in your eyes, but if you do put it in drive, it's saying, hey you, the lights on, the door's open. And then up top, we have one of our CNC cup panel for our Argus controller. So that'll wake up automatically when you press it and it'll give them that. And then we have all of our upfitter switches. Drive response mode gets a little, gets more aggressive for you for your response mode. 
can see we've got flashing white on all of our body lights, um, headlight flashers on, and then with the blueprint system, the ORV lights are tied into it, we have the ability to flash those also and give you additional warning. If you don't like it, you turn it off. Very flexible system. We like it because it's easy to program for us and it gives us all that control that you need and expect from a modern day electrical system. So as we've talked about before, we still have the white truck here because they're both getting shipped out together. The sync feature of the blueprint system, when you switch into park mode or whatever mode that you're in, um, the sync module allows you to program your lights to be synchronized so that way you have the ability to have synchronized pattern which gives you less distractive driving when you're on scene. As you can see we have them both programmed up and matching so that way you can see the great function of that sync module. So if you have any questions about these vehicles or one built better to suit your needs, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to help you out with your next project. And don't forget to check out our stock vehicles.